Only on 10 tonight, new photos of a local bear. We're not sure if it's the one that we saw here in Cranston recently. Yeah, that's the video everyone's talking about tonight. But tonight we have the exclusive proof and we're there as DEM moves in to move it out. Snapshots of a bear in the backyard. A North Kingstown resident set up this camera after the bear showed up once before and fed on the homeowner's chickens. And this bear left his mark. Check out the paw print. It's a big guy. Now, no one can say this is the same bear caught on camera roaming through a Cranston neighborhood recently and possibly seen in South County, but DEM officials were called in. We take into account the safety of the bear, but also the safety of people. We were there as the environmental crews viewed the photos on this laptop just to know what they were up against. And they're not taking any chances setting up this bear trap in the backyard. The rest of a chicken he didn't finish on the first visit he used as bait, throw in a bag of dried corn and hopefully he'll be back. And what will happen when he's trapped? We'll probably uh, transport it uh, to a you know, more appropriate location. New photos prompting a new fascination of a bear that DEM says so far has been friendly. This bear hasn't demonstrated any aggressive behavior or anything, but just as a precaution, this is a, you know, an earth, a suburban area. We're going to have to come up with a name for that bear. We should, like, have a little contest where people, you know, write it on our Facebook page. What's the bear's Maybe name? Maybe we should call it Charlie Brown, like the guy there. <laughs> oh, I love his, I love his I know, name. I know, I know. I don't know if Charlie is like that. He looks like a Charlie Brown, too. <laughs> yeah.